<laughs> Next up is this 1911 by KWC. It's the uh, sort of typical full metal. This is a CO2 version. CO2 is much better in the winter months, as we all know, and you get a lot more bang for your bucks. Um, retailing at 139 yo-yos. It's certainly a very solid gun, and the lads in here love it because they get no returns with this. This is a performer, uh, which is what you want. Nothing really sort of goes wrong with it. It's full metal. It feels nice and solid. This actually feels, I own a KWA 1911, and this actually feels a lot heavier, and it, it seems a lot more solid than my one. Uh, it's a great color, very true to the real steel. And what I'd also recommend if you're buying one of these, get one of these sort of generic hard cases uh, to pop it in for when you're carrying it around. It keeps it, the gun nice and safe in the padding and it also keeps it out of sight, you know, sort of it's being carried from car to house or car to safe zone. It keeps it out of sight and uh, keeps you within the, uh, the law. So um, I'm not sure how much these cases uh, come in at, but I'm sure it's not too much. 10 yo-yos, 10 euros for the case. So as I said, that's the uh, 1911 for 139 euro, certainly worth a look. And as I said, if it performs as well as it looks, I think you'll be on to a winner. So to go along with the 1911 pistol that we have just shown you, you can get yourself a drop leg holster like this Miltec one. Now, I know Mark isn't keen on these. I'm not keen on drop legs either. Uh, personally, I just find them too bulky to get in the way. I'm just not mad about them. I prefer to actually have my pistol up on the, mo on the molly somewhere. Um, but if you're in the mood for a, a pistol, and I know a lot of younger guys love the, the whole look of the drop leg, this is a real good quality one. Richard assures me that uh, it's certainly worth the money that they're selling it for, well worth a look. And it clips onto the belt, and then the two loops can be adjusted to fit around your thigh. Uh, gun retrieval is quite easy. Uh, it has the breakthrough Velcro that you can whip it out. And also, the good thing about it is, uh, the way it's configured and designed, it doesn't tend to put an awful lot of pressure on the mag catch release here. And this is a big problem because what happens is in holsters the mag can get depressed and the, uh, the mag pops out whilst you're running around and you can kind of lose your mag in situ. That's why lanyards are so important. <laughs>